Hey writers! Many of you looking to grow your author platform have been wondering how to grow an AuthorTube channel. So in this video, I am super excited to be collabing with the fabulous Brooke Passamore from By the Brook to give you our top 10 tips to grow your AuthorTube channel. Personally, I've just reached 1,500 subscribers with this channel in 10 months. So everybody who is subscribed, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And I also have a different channel that is unrelated to writing that has over 13,000 subscribers. So I'm super excited to share with you the top five things I've learned about growing on YouTube as a writer. And after you get my tips, you're definitely going to want to get the other five from Brooke's channel, which I have linked in the description below. Brooke is such a fun and energetic author tuber who, like me, always loves sharing what she's learning on her writing journey. So if you're not already subscribed to her, you definitely should. And if you're excited about this topic, go ahead and hit that like button and let's get into the tips. If you're struggling to grow your AuthorTube channel, my first tip is to make sure your videos are searchable and give value in some way. If you didn't already know, YouTube is a search engine. It's actually owned by Google. This means that most people are finding videos because they are searching for help or information on a specific topic. Especially if you are a smaller channel, the quickest and easiest way to get discovered on YouTube is to make helpful videos on topics that people are already searching for, aka topics that give value, which are typically either educational entertaining or inspiring. And actually YouTube already helps you find these topics. Simply start typing some topics you think other writers or readers might find valuable in the search bar and you will find a plethora of ideas that come up as suggestions because these are phrases people are actually searching for. But it's not enough to simply make videos on these topics. You want your videos to rank, which means you want it to be one of the first videos to show up when people search for that topic. How do you do this? Besides making sure your video is informative and engaging, you want to take the exact search term you want to rank for and include it word for word in all the data of your video. So that includes the video's title, the thumbnail, the description, the tags, and even the captions. Basically by doing this, you're giving YouTube the data it needs to send your videos to the people that want to find it. And gosh, there is so much more I would love to share with you on this topic, but in order to not make this video crazy long, if you stick around till the end, I'm going to share with you a bunch of resources that will help you learn how to do this really well. Also, I keep a running list of video ideas for my author tube, and I've been thinking about sharing some of those ideas in a video coming up. So if that is something you'd love to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. Tip number two is to outline or script your video before recording it. If you're someone who's tried using a script or outline before and it doesn't quite work for you, definitely check out Brooke's video because she'll be sharing how she records her videos without a script. But for me, I know that if I don't do a script ahead of time, I stumble over my words and it takes me forever to record and then edit the video afterwards. Sometimes I script out pretty much every word I want to say, while other times I just put together an outline, sort of like outlining your novel. In this case, I'll have a few notes about what I want to say in the beginning, some bullet points about what I want to say in the middle, and then what I want to say at the end for my outro. If you guys would like me to do a video more about my scripting strategy, I can definitely do that. But for now, if nothing else, I really encourage you to at least script the intro of your videos. The reason I encourage you to do this is because not only do people tend to click off a video within the first 30 seconds, if you don't grab their attention, but YouTube actually listens to your video and especially the first 30 seconds. And they use whatever you say in those 30 seconds to help you rank in search. So if nothing else, if you want to rank in search, definitely make sure to script your intro and say the exact search terms you want to rank for. My third tip to grow your author tube channel is to focus less on making individual videos and focus more on making a series of related videos that people can binge sort of like they would a Netflix series. When people watch one of your videos, they don't always know that you have this whole library of content on your channel. So a great way to get more views and to help more people with your content is to organize your videos into playlists that have related topics. And then when you are doing a video, in that series or on that topic, you can reference to that playlist in your description as long as you link it there, and they can then go and take advantage of all your other content. I also love this because believe me, I know how long it takes to create just one video and to make it really good. So why not make that one video work twice as hard for you and your channel? 
For example, I could make a whole series of videos on how to grow your AuthorTube channel and split it up into a few different videos, putting that into a playlist. Or I know for this video, if you're trying to grow your AuthorTube channel, you're probably trying to grow the rest of your platform as well. So I'm going to link my playlist that I already have that has a bunch of videos all about how to grow your author platform. YouTube also rewards channels that keep people on YouTube. So if your videos are constantly suggesting people to go to your other videos, keeping them on the platform instead of them going somewhere else, YouTube will also promote your channel and your videos a lot more. My tip number four is to give your video its best chance by giving it a major boost right at the start. The views, watch time, likes, and engagement you get on your video in the first 24 hours of its posting is the most important and really helps YouTube boost your video. So here are a couple tips about how you can give your videos a boost every single time. My first tip is to start talking about the topic you're going to do a video on on your social media before you even post the video, sometimes even before you record it. There's a bunch of reasons for this. The first is that it sort of builds anticipation for that topic and people are excited and looking for when you're going to post that video. But sometimes I even talk about these topics before I even script or record a video because I want to put it out to my audience and see if this is a topic they'd even be interested in hearing about. Then the ones that they get really excited about, I prioritize those videos and I make sure that I get those out because people are already looking forward to watching them. Then after posting a video, I do five things right away every single time. The first thing I do is I go to the search bar and I type in some of the key terms that I've been hoping to rank for. The second thing is if I find my video in search, I go ahead and click it and I watch it all the way through from beginning to end. Third, while I'm watching the video, I go ahead and like it and then Fourth, I pin a comment at the bottom, usually thanking people for watching the video and asking them to engage with me in some way in the comments. And then number five, I share it on all my social media platforms and my newsletter. Now you're probably thinking, that sounds weird. Why would you go ahead and watch your whole video and like it and do all the things? But I do this for two reasons. One, YouTube will already see right away that there has been engagement on the video, which will encourage them to share it. And number two is those that find your video in search will already see that somebody has watched it and liked it. And sometimes people just need that little nudge of like, oh, at least one person has checked this out. I should go check it out too. Doing all these things once just gives your video a little nudge in the right direction, whereas some videos will be up for hours and not have any engagement. So your video will already start rising to the surface and you've already put in so much work to make it such a great video. We just wanna make sure that it has a little boost to get going. And my fifth tip is to watch YouTube help channels. If you didn't already know that these exist, there are tons of channels out there that teach you how to succeed on YouTube. And when I first got started, I binge watched all of these channels and I am going to give you a little cheat sheet in the description below of all these channels that I have watched for years now. They have so much free content and some of them even have courses that you can take like I've taken Video Ranking Academy by Video Influencers and I've also taken AuthorTube Academy by AuthorTuber Mandy Lynn. If you want to succeed on YouTube, I would definitely suggest subscribing to all of those channels, watch every video that they come out with and go back and watch a bunch of their older videos because a lot of those are really foundational and awesome and I swear you will learn so much that so many channels don't know about but if you learn these things it'll give you that leg up to grow your channel fast. Anyway guys those were my five top tips for growing your author tube channel. Now you want to go over to Brooke's channel and watch her video to get the other five tips. Again I've listed her video in the description below. Also if you're still with me Bethany and I are continuing with part four of our save the cat experiment where we are outlining a book in 10 weeks with you live. Tonight we'll be on Bethany's channel at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure to pop over and hit that set reminder button on her video so you don't miss it. As always, I'd love to chat with you in the comments if you have additional questions or tips about how to grow an AuthorTube channel, and until next week, happy writing.